All right, so next up, uh, I have another partner over here, Macadamian. Hey, guys. Hey. How you doing? Having us. Great. I'd like to welcome these Great. guys to the stage. They've also been working on Cascades. They, they've kind of gone uh, a little bit further in terms of building up their own uh, kind of custom control. So why don't you talk a little bit about Macadamian, give us the background on what sure. you guys do. Sure. We're a user experience design company and a software development studio, and so our mission in life is to help our customers build insanely great apps. And so we got a sneak peek a few weeks ago of BlackBerry 10, and we started to see some of the concepts like you know, Flow and Connect and, and, and what you can do in Cascades with so little code and how you can embed OpenGL. And we wanted to create a, a demo that sort of embodies those concepts in an enterprise context and help people kind of rethink how you might do a really, really rich enterprise app, mm -hmm. right? So let me just set it up for you. Imagine, if you will, you are the owner of a sports apparel company, okay. right? All right? NBA playoff season, yeah. and your biggest problem, like any other business, is predictability, right? So as the owner, you want to see some data analytics. You want to see some visualizations that will help you make decisions. Now, you mm -hmm. can't predict what's going to happen in the playoffs, because if you could, you'd be in Vegas making a lot of money, right? <laughs> so Indeed. you want to see kind of what the data that will help you say, OK, here's how many you know, jerseys I need to order or whatever. Right. So, Who's so, playing well? Right? Exactly, who's playing well. So come on over here, we'll show you how, you how we did that. This is Daniel Baxter, he's one of our lead developers. Daniel, good to see you. Good to meet you. And he's going to show us the, uh, the app. So uh, what we got here actually is a combination of Cascades and OpenGL. The left-hand side is a, a giant Cascades control we made that allows you to rotate around through the different teams. And what so these, we have these here, are the matchups in the NBA yeah, playoffs. These are the matchups in the NBA playoffs. And what we've actually done is we've captured over half a million tweets over the last two weeks about the two different teams. And we're rendering them in OpenGL as a stream graph, showing which team has the most buzz. And if you look at this right now, Dallas is clearly going to beat the Oklahoma <laughs> City team. If you tap through, what we've got here now is you can see that the, the Mavericks and Thunders, we have their starting lineup showing who has the most play time in minutes per game against this chart. And then we can flip over and we can say, who's got the most rebounds per game? And both these charts are drawn in OpenGL, but all the rest of it is actually done in Cascades. So and the text and the buttons and all of this is Cascades, and GL yeah. is, is dropped in on top. And, and what we've done is actually seamlessly rendered GL in between all the rest of the controls. Awesome. So can we take a look at some code here and, uh, and see how you've, uh, you've gone about that? Yeah, absolutely. So there's actually three parts to it. We have a GL thread. It, it's basically just a whole pile of OpenGL code that actually does the GL rendering. We have uh, three different GL renders that do the, the three different portions of uh, the charts. And then we have a custom control. It, it actually implements straight from BB Cascade's custom control. There's very little code to this, actually. If you take a look, it's mostly header and copyright stuff. Uh, that's the actual usable code there. Basically, you create the control, you give it some things, and you attach the GL thread to it. And then to actually implement it, drop it into a QML document, we only needed to add these few lines right here. That, that's actually what's dropping that entire control into the QML. And the rest of the app is written just in strict QML. So you've got your scene graph built up through QML. You drop your custom control, and that's what does the overlay and allows you to punch through right on top. Yeah, absolutely. It, it just, it, it's very really easy. We uh, didn't take a whole lot of code at all. We just dropped it right in. The, the, the hardest part was actually the GL part, because that, that actually required work. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I mean, this is amazing. I think uh, one of the great things I should mention about this specific sample uh, these guys have agreed to put it up uh, in open source, so it's yep. going to be up under Cascade Samples. We're trying to encourage the community to get involved and help each other out, uh, and I believe it's going to be featured in a session uh, later this week. Yeah, right? exactly. Yep. So really appreciate you guys coming out and Thank sharing you. with us. Thanks, Matt. Thanks for having us. Daniel? Thanks. Take care.